After weeks of going back and forth between myself in Australia and Trent in South Africa, the sticker designs for our newly christened yacht, Sailing Vessel Lager, were ready. The design was based on the inspiration behind the yacht's name and was completely shaped by Trent's creative vision and my ever-increasing ability to create digital images in Photoshop. In the words of someone from Leopard Aftermarket, it's one of the most millennial things they've seen. If you buy a new catamaran in Cape Town, the tax event occurs three months after Robertson and Kane have sold it to Leopard. So if you, for instance, have a boat that was sold from Robertson and Kane to Leopard in March, you've got three months from that date to get the boat out of the country. Otherwise you'll get charged whatever the VAT rate is. Luterates is where you go when you may be at risk of incurring a tax bill that you are not aware that you would incur. Daniel is somebody that we found in South Africa. I don't know what I... I think I'll leave the mystery of Daniel for when he starts his own YouTube channel. Which we will link when it eventually happens. Sometime in the future. Is he really doing that? No. Nah. Beautiful clean water, beautiful lunar landscape. Daniel getting the instant shot for the day. <laughs> no, not the hat. The Luderitz now. The only thing that Luderitz has in common with Hollywood. Have you been to Mars? Like no. what it looks like? No, yeah. Like, I don't know why Elon's going so far when he could just go to Luderitz and there's a pub. So when he gets bored of the rocks, he can go have a drink at the pub. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, a, it's not a bad place. It's, it's, it's honestly not like it's it, if you're ever in the area it's actually worth a visit it's quite it's quite interesting it's just it's, it's fun to make fun of rose and i had been having adventures of our own flying from perth to dubai and then on to vienna at the time there was only one flight a week that rose could go on 
and due to the timing, it meant she had to be without me for five days. <laughs> We went to the tourist destination, the abandoned town. Heaps cool. Don't stand on death adders uh, everywhere. Uh, the only thing I'll say is you just go there, you buy a ticket, and you just walk around by yourself and just stare at stuff. And we went through the whole museum, and it summed up. It, 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 it's a lot of reading, but to sum up the entire essay, it's people were in the desert digging holes for diamonds, and then they got sick of it. And that was it. <laughs> well, no, that's it. Except you'd save going through the, that whole museum building to say that. Ah, oh, sh**, it's a ghost. What the fuck's that? Centipede. That's almost like shit, man. Strange, man. I mean, it was only, like, World War II or something, it was after World War II, they did this place. That's reasonably recent. Go on, get him. <laughs> Go on, boy. Breakfast is getting away. That's what nature thinks of our activities. Fuck you. <laughs> no, I think it's just like a cast iron, mate, or... It's coated at least. And Worth a bit of money, you know. And you know, you know. The you know. they made back in the day, yeah, it's still it's looks so, it off. It's so know. funny. Crazy. <laughs> Pigeons attacking Trent. You look sick, eh? The it room. Looks like clouds, the wall, you know? Beatles. Death Beatles. You stare at the death beetle too long, the fing death adder will latch on you off. <laughs> the ominous. Ominous death beetle. They're everywhere. Oh, it's a fully sick though. It's like, oh, anyway. Apparently there's a bowling alley here. Oh, I see where there's a little bit. Well, I mean, at least they haven't just smashed the windows. Yeah, exactly. I've done art. You've done art. I've done art. Are you proud? Come look. Art. I call it. Wow, we laugh. Yeah, I call it. Imagine. I call it disjointment, if that's a word. <laughs> you know how artistic that is. I've just expressed myself. Don't you ruin it? Don't you ru see this plagiarism? See it's how happens. it all starts. This, see, see what happens? See what happens? Ah, oh, he's put his foot in it. Look. Ah. Oh. Did you can't see the other ones? So if you fall on the first one, it finishes you off. Should like put them up around the room. Like then the tour will come yeah, down. Like, oh, you know what I mean? Oh. Modern art. What is it? What is it display? What does it resemble? It means you're gonna move through life. Is the glass melting back down in the sand? Is it the passing of time? Creation. Creation. That's why all my art. Creation. Can you do me a favour? No. Aww. That's best. Oh yeah, it's big fuses or something. It's from Germany, man, I think. Yeah, yes, sir. It's like a big power. Three contacts. Isolator. The first relay. Yeah. <laughs> it's quite a, it's probably a high voltage. Um, yeah. It's got anti-arc stuff, I think. You arc him, have you? Like compression.
Ooh, ah. I gotta go do some more hop. Is it a carpet? I think it's like um, flooring, you know, I guess, that you guys have in your... Oh, like a... Like a floor, floor cover. Yeah. Alright, I'm done, Tommy. You're done? Yeah. I can come see your artwork? Yeah. Do I have to pay for entry? Yes, especially that. <laughs> 1,000 rand. I'll let you know when they make a note. Oh, it would have been better if like it lined up with the light fitting on the roof. That's a thousand rand. We've looked at it now. Trent the tourist. And I thought I was artistic today. You can restore these doors. Let me know how it goes. Making art, right? Eh? You having fun? Yeah, like the fire. I was it's all stupid girl. And people throw coins into fires all the time. That's it, that's fucking hard. I can't remember. If you go in this room, you've got to fight the boss. Who's the boss? Look, it's the boss room. It's at the end of the dungeon. Dun dun dun! <laughs> hey, Daniel, fight your way to the last room and confront the boss. <laughs> Just go, Daniel. I already want you to do it. Don't corner it. <laughs> Look, Daniel's coming. How's the floor, how it, like the weight of the sand and everything over time? Oh. Alicia's calling you. We're in the fucking desert. And we nearly trod on two death adders. Two killer snakes. As opposed to tiny, we've got a killer python. <laughs> Camera reception. Yeah, for a long time. You were looking at the snake. No, the snake. You looking at the snake? Yeah. Alright, you ready? This is it. This is where Indiana Jones my way across the floor. Are you going? Cracks on the floor. I don't know. I don't know. He's pretty docile, eh? He's not even hissing, he's a baby, I reckon. Well, most snakes are docile, you don't scare them. That's why so many people just casually pick them up until they get bit one day. Yeah. I picked up heaps of snakes. He's super mad up. Sure. He's like, yeah, pick me up, get me out of the room. I wonder if I, you think he's stuck in there? Yeah, possibly. Let's put him on. Is it, can you get up there? You can. Just be so careful, dude, because these things bury themselves. Yeah, I know. And they will just have their head out. I saw it on Animal Discovery Channel. Discovery Channel? Yeah, no, they do. So, like, it's actually a really dangerous place to just casually walk around if they're everywhere. The wind has finally changed directions to blow us back to Cape Town, so now it's time for us to leave Luderitz. <laughs>